So I'm just going to update people and kind of think out loud about where I'm going with this project of the YouTube and podcast. And it's been going for about a year and a couple of months. And I'm starting to figure out what I'm doing here, I think. Uh, it's an ongoing project. But uh, so, and I think I'm going to focus on, I'm doing these long form things. And people are saying that lends itself more to the podcast. People can listen to it while you're driving, while you're working out, while you're cleaning, cleaning up the bed, bedroom, and so forth. And, I mean, that's the way I listen to podcasts. Um, I usually don't watch a whole YouTube video. <clears throat> those those who, who can, can. Um, but I think I'll, I'll record it in a video, but I'll, I'll also post it on podcast. I'm looking at Spotify. I'm looking at free items like that. And I'm going to call it at this point, it keeps changing its name, The Meaning Crisis. Because I think that's the core of it. And the subtitle is something like Science, Literature, and Art. The Meaning Crisis, colon, Science, Literature, and Art. And uh, just to th say this, like I'm an English professor, I've been teaching at the University of Houston downtown for 18 years. Um, I'm an Oscar Wilde scholar, I'm a, I'm a Tolkien scholar, I'm becoming a Tolkien scholar. <clears throat> and um, uh, for what it's worth, I'm a, I'm a Catholic, I'm a kind of a serious Catholic among mostly secular folks. And, and I like that. And I think that's part of what I'm doing here is like, getting religious and secular thought together. I want to do like, let's read Heidegger and then let's read John Paul II and like look at the connections and the similarities and differences. And let's read Nietzsche and let's read Dostoevsky and look at the similarities and differences. And, you know, I was just kind of like thinking about how I got here. It's 2024. I was going to say 2023, it's 2024. And it was in 2019 and I was talking with some college students that I was working with in College Station, Texas, which is where Texas A&M is and Blinn College. And one of the students there said, you should do a YouTube channel and said, do it. And I was like, okay. And he was really pushy and I kind of like did it. And I was, so I, I made this horrible, I, I made like eight episodes at the time. It was called The Christian Response to Liquid Modernity. I kind of like that name still, but anyway, I moved away from it. Um, I, like, I love liquid modernity, but I, I'm not doing a Christian response. I'm doing a secular response, but, I, but kind of bringing into dialogue the Christian and the secular thought. Um, but focusing on the secular thought, uh, I think that's uh, my, my starting point. Um, and that was 2019, and I, I did eight episodes, and I stopped, and I couldn't get anywhere with it. And then a year and a half later, I did something called the Christian Intellectuals Survival Kit. And again, I did somehow there's eights the magic number. I did eight episodes, then I ran out of gas again, and I stopped. Um, and I, I I got some students that I knew, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. I'm, I kind of like working, focusing on secular thought, and so, and there's all these other people doing the kind of Christian intellectual thing, and so, um, in the fall of 2022, another friend of mine. I was saying like, yeah, I'm wrestling with these ideas. I started twice and he said, just start and don't stop. Just keep making stuff and if it's crap, it'll become less crappy as you go. And so that's what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully it is getting less crappy as I go. Um, and that was fall of 22 and I, I spoke to another person. Um, should I tell his name? I don't think anyone cares. It's Justin Murphy. He has a podcast. He's a much bigger podcaster than me and I met with him and I was saying like yeah I'm thinking of doing this maybe every every couple of weeks or two or three weeks and he says do it every week 
<sighs> okay, so it's just like, so be less of a perfectionist, and I've become that, as if you haven't noticed. Um, and, uh, and I didn't do it quite every week, but I did it almost every week. Um, and, uh, and so, and I have never really launched the whole social, social media thing, but, uh, I'm hoping to start that soon. So to kind of get my thought going, I need inspiration and music is a key thing for me. So I'm going to play part of the song from Led Zeppelin called Ramble On, because I feel, I feel like I'm rambling on. As, as you can tell right now, but I think I'm rambling. I think I'm like, I'm, I'm exploring, I'm wandering. That's what I'm doing. And so let's see. I'm gonna, yeah, here it goes. Got no time for spreading roots. The time's come to be gone. And though our health we drank a thousand times, it's time to ramble on.
So that's Ramble On from Led Zeppelin. And that's sort of kind of what I'm doing. Let me share my screen here so you can see some of these lyrics. And um, I got to keep moving. You know, I'm sort of stuck a little bit. And um, yeah, uh, thanks. You know, I'm, I'm kind of, it's been pleasant. I'm comfortable, but I can't get too comfortable. I got to keep moving. Um, it's time for me to go. I can smell the rain. I can, I, I got this call. Do the podcast and, and um, search for meaning, meaning crisis, address it. You know, I get tired. It's tiring. But I know there's one thing I've got to do. I've got to ramble on. Now is the time. I've got to sing my song. I've got to find my girl. I've been this way for 10 years. Well, it's been, what, five years I've been working on these podcast ideas. Um, I've got to find the queen of all my dreams. I can't spread roots. The time has come to be gone. And we drank, but I got to ramble on. Um, I got to sing my song, go around the world. Uh, and, and like, here's the mission, right? So my freedom, I hold dear, I got to keep moving. But years ago, you know, I'm thinking about like the mythic stories that I analyze and including Tolkien. And I love this song because it references Gollum from the Tolkien stories and Gollum, the evil one crept up and slipped away with my girl. And like, that's like the, the, the demon of writer's block and of, you know, just sit back and relax kind of temptations. And um, I got nothing I can do now, but I got to keep on rambling and singing my song and dooby 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 baby. And like, like Led Zeppelin says, doody doody doody. And so I'm going to try to ramble on. I'm going to ramble on. And um, what are some of the things that I'm going to get you and me to do, uh, what are some of the missions of this project? And some of them are to get you and me addicted to reading long books. That is a crucial move that all of us have to make. I know not everybody, but most of us have to make. And certainly many of you and I will benefit in a huge way from the meaning crisis. If we get addicted, if we like uh, uh, just turn those pages over and over for hours, that's going to make you and me smarter and stronger and better and less distracted and more contemplative. I want you, to, you and me to be contemplative. I want to train you and me to be contem contemplative. How do you be contemplative? By reading a, a, a book that's 700 pages long, by contemplating a work of art. <clears throat> like a song. Listen attentively. Don't just like in the background, but listen attentively to a symphony, to a 30 minute long symphony or to a concerto. I was going to say a two hour long um, oratorio by Bach. Well, that's tough, but yeah, even that. I mean, you need to prepare yourself for that because that's, that's like exhausting. Um, but I was thinking like the Mateus, is it the Mateus Passion? I know some German that's a German pronunciation more or less of, of Bach's um, uh, uh, Easter Oratorio um, or one of them anyway he's got more than one to, to get, contemplate paintings why do we look at paintings and we like and, and some paintings are like so rich that you can sit there for 15 minutes and like look at like the relationships of the colors and the relationship of this painting to another painting and or to like culture itself and um and that's that's what we're gonna do i'm a big fan of of the pre-raphaelites and edward bird jones and dante gabriel rossetti and and then in fact christina rossetti who wasn't a painter uh, but she was a poet um and um and also, yeah, we'll look at other paintings. I'm going to train you and me to be makers because you got to make 
things. You got to like create things. That's, you know, we're sub creators. That's what Tolkien would say. You know, God's the creator. If you believe in God, would say nature is the creator making things. And the human is, we're the storytelling animal. And we got to, we got to sub create. We got to like make works of art, make stories, make cars, like stuff that you're going to sell, make companies. Um, make ideas, write essays, make podcasts. And then we need to train you and me to regularly dialogue with people we deeply disagree with and have that dialogos, I'm borrowing that word or that pronunciation from people like John Verveke. Um, and and um, we need various viewpoints to talk and to bounce and to not fight, but to, 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 to confront and like, like to disagree um, and grow from that disagreement. Uncomfortable discussions. We need more uncomfortable discussions. Um, this is making us all smarter and, 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 and our lives much richer. Um, and so this, this is what I think I'm up to at this point. Um, uh, it's a work in progress, as you can see, but I feel like I'm getting somewhere. And um, I have inklings of ideas out there. I wanna do um, mini retreats, like a weekend where I train you to just read. And we just like read, discuss, read, discuss, and get you kind of into that rhythm. And really being in a place with other people is crucial to, to training both your mind and your desire. Like we need to get you ritualized into the ritualized practices of reading. Um, I wanna do like a seminar in England, in Italy. Now those things are gonna cost a lot of money, but but some of us wanna, wanna spend a little bit of money, uh, maybe a lot of money uh, on, on, on really digging deeper into these ideas. And so these are some of the things uh, we'll be working on.